Hey y'all. So first of all, I want to apologize in advance for what you are seeing on screen right now. I literally just rolled out of bed, washed my face, brushed my teeth, threw my hair up because, you know, it looks like I put so much effort into the way I look right now. But it is Sunday and I figured I would vlog for you today. I've got several things I need to do just around the house laundry things like that i also am going to fix some chili today so i figured i'd show you that because my chili is amazing and it's really easy and i've got a few like meal prepping things i need to do um but can we talk about my outfit of the day okay so i'm in my pajamas this is from kohl's it's my little sandlot t-shirt it says you're killing me smalls um then i've just got some huge victoria's secret sweatpants on I literally look like a bum, but that's okay. Y'all love me for who I am, right? <laughs> okay, so I also felt like I would be doing a disservice if I didn't update you all on a few things. So first, let me talk to you about um, these vitamins. So I talked about these in my last, oh my gosh, when was my last Beauty Favorites video? I don't even know, guys. I've been away from it for so long. I don't know. I don't even know. Um, but anyways, these are the Nature's Bounty Hair Skin and Nail Gummies with Biotin. And um, I got the first bottle in my FabFitFun and I talked about them in my last favorites video because I had seen such a difference in my hair. Um, since then, I've already used up that bottle. I've bought two more. Um, I'm obsessed. So in that video, I said I hadn't really seen a difference in my nails that has changed and that's what i wanted to talk to you about um so first of all if you didn't watch that video i'll link it up here somewhere but i told you all how much my hair is growing using these things like it's insane um i've had to bump up my hair appointments my stylist is like oh my gosh what have you been doing and i didn't say anything to her like she noticed it on her own and I mean, growing, and I'm trying to grow my hair out, so that's why, like, I'm continuing to take these, um, but my nails, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it's like, whoa, and the girl that does my, um, nails, my pedicure, hey girl, um, anyway, she, so I go see her once a month, and I do gel pedicures, that's just, I hate doing my toenails, and she is amazing. It's like, the reason I've never gone and gotten like my nails done is because I'm such a perfectionist that no one has ever done them to meet my standards, I guess. I know that sounds really high maintenance, but I found a Whitney and she is like bomb.com. I mean, she's amazing. I can't live without her. But anyways, I go see her and she does um, gel pedicures for me. And my last one, she was like, uh, have you gone longer like in between appointments because your nails have grown so much and I was like yes I had not gone any longer but my nails are growing out of control like this let me see if it's gonna focus on my nails so I don't know if you can see how long my nails are but this is basically within like a week and a half I'm having to cut my nails like constant constantly and I was gonna go get her to put gel um, on my nails, but I was like, the way they're growing, I'm gonna have to go see her once a week. Like, this is ridiculous. Um, and then also my skin. I've noticed a major difference in my skin. Um, I am using a, um, not a bunch of new products, but I've got like a new skincare routine that I do wanna film for you all, but I feel like my skin has just like never looked better and people have noticed my skin recently. People have never really commented on my skin, but I've noticed within the last few weeks, people have said like, oh, your skin looks really nice. You know, what are you doing? So, highly recommend. Now that I've rambled on for uh, four minutes about this, just go get them. You need them. Okay. Um, I also wanted to update you on my fitness journey. So, as you all know, I talked about in several vlogs back that I was doing this like 12 week challenge. Well, that 12 week challenge has come and gone. I did play second in that challenge, okay? Um, but I lost a total of 10 pounds and 16 inches. So I just wanted to sit down and talk to you about since then, um, I probably have 
gained a few pounds since then, but I haven't actually gotten on the scale since then because what I learned doing that challenge is to not pay attention to the scale. I know that sounds crazy and I was getting really down that I wasn't losing more weight than what I was and my trainer, Ashley, she just kept saying, don't pay attention to the scale. Pay attention to your pictures and your inches lost and it is so true. So I haven't gotten on the scale. I just pay attention to how I feel, how I look, how my clothes are fitting. But, you know, you can feel like you're not making any progress. And then if you take a picture and compare yourself, you can really see where you're making um, those changes. So, um, I haven't kept it up as hardcore as I was. But um, I'm going to try to get back in a better routine. But I feel like that really helped me because, you know, this was a lifestyle change for me. This wasn't really a challenge. This was just like I did it to get a kickstart, learn things, learn how to meal prep, exercise, take better care of myself. So that really was like a starting point for me. Um, so like I said, I am looking at this as a lifestyle change. Um... Things I've kept up is the drinking a gallon of water a day. Yes, there are some days where I don't reach it, whatever. Um, no sodas. Um, I'm still trying to meal prep on Sundays um, and keep a good routine throughout the week. I can do pretty good throughout the week. It's the weekends that um, I'm pretty bad. And you know what? I'm just rolling with it. It is what it is. I'm not letting things get to me because that was also a problem for me. Starting out, I would mess up and I'd be like, well... I've just thrown everything out of the window, you know, might as well just eat bad the rest of the day or the rest of the week or whatever. You can't think like that. Don't let, you know, mishaps set you back um, because you are working hard. You just start over the next day. So that's what I'm doing. So today I'm going to put a few meals together. So I plan on filming that. Um, but if you want me to film like an in-depth, like fitness, whatever, comment down below and let me know. So, okay, now I'm going to go load the dishwasher and do some laundry. Okay, also real quick, you guys, I wanted to show you this new rug. This is my dining room, and y'all will not believe the deal I scored on this rug. So, I had a beautiful rug in here before that was destroyed when Jade was a puppy. So, I picked up this other rug that I had that I got at, like, Ross, I think, for, like, $30. 30 35 dollars i don't know but it was junk but it served a purpose until she was older um and so i've been on the hunt for another rug to replace it and i just wasn't finding anything that i liked well in my neighborhood we've got like a for sale group where you know neighbors can post things they have for sale and so one of my neighbors posted this rug this is actually a brand new wool pottery barn rug um it's five by eight she sold for thirty dollars i was like you've got to be kidding me mine yes please i mean it's perfect for this space i love it it is such good quality i mean it's pottery barn i'm mean, like i said it is wool it's nice and heavy and i love that the back is like this nice fabric material so you don't need a carpet pad because that just drives me nuts but anyways this is my dining room if you've never seen it so this table actually came from walmart this table and chairs this is just a burlap runner um i got this from no idea where did i get this maybe Kohl's? Not real sure. Um, but I put this together myself. I just got this, I think, at the dollar store. I put some coffee beans in there, a candle. This came from like a local, you know, vintage type shop. Um, and then I've just got this bench over here. I painted this myself with the red paint. This came from a local vintage shop as well, just some pillows. That came from actually on our honeymoon in Tennessee. It's like some antique little ladder thing that I picked up. Then this is a hutch that my mother-in-law gave me and I did paint this myself. Um, just some old jugs. These actually came from my farm that I just picked up, got there. That's from our wedding. Got some more uh, vintage bottles there. And then over here, this piece came from Kohl's. This was actually at our wedding at our candy bar. Just some few little knickknacks there. Um, all of our like wedding memorabilia is down there. Some wedding photos up there. And then 
I hate that that's there, but we have no other place for it. My husband actually made this little cat tree thing, and yes, he is so talented, but this is for our little boys, and I mean, they've got to have a place to play, and that's really the only place it goes, so hmm, there you go. So that's my dining room. <laughs> yesterday. You relaxing? Oh, yeah. Mama's baby. Mama's baby. So spoiled. <laughs> Okay, so I'm getting ready to make my chili, so I figured I'd show you that. I've already got my big pot over here heating because what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna cook the meat in the pan and then add all the other ingredients. So basically, really easy, what you need is some spaghetti sauce. I just use the ragu chunky garden combination. Um, you need some diced tomatoes. I use the zesty chili style just to give it some um, spice and this is it says it's seasoned and ready for chili then I use one can of pinto beans this is just the Kroger uh, organic simple truth and then I use one can of the dark red kidney beans and these two I do open um, and drain them you don't want all the juices you just want the beans um, and then I put uh, I really do this by sight maybe a teaspoon of the cayenne red pepper maybe two tablespoons of the chili powder I don't know I just dump it in and kind of taste and then I also add just salt and pepper to the um, ground beef so that is everything you need for the chili and then like I said what I do is I've got this heating I cook the ground beef and then once it's all cooked, I add everything back into the pan, cover it, and let it simmer for a few hours. That is now finished. I've turned the heat down to low. I'm just going to cover it and let it simmer for a few hours and that's going to be dinner. Then also over here, part of my meal prep, I've got some turkey bacon going. This is my favorite, the Oscar Mayer. Um, so I'm going to cook a whole pack of that for um, some of my protein this week. And then over here, I've got the crock pot setting out because I'm going to go and throw some chicken breasts in there and just cook on low for the rest of the day to add in salads and some things throughout the week. And then I'm also going to make some tuna. Okay, I've got my chicken breast in the crock pot and I've basically just added some olive oil and some of this um, Mrs. Dash chicken grilling blend salt free seasoning. So I'm just going to cover this and cook it on low throughout the rest of today. Okay, now I'm just gonna make a big bowl of tuna for the week, and basically how I'm gonna eat this is I'm gonna put it on lettuce wraps with some pico de gallo on top, um, or maybe some balsamic vinegar, but basically I'm just going to drain four packs of the Starkist Chunk Light Tuna in water, and I'm gonna add some salt and pepper, some garlic salt, celery seed, and some dill. Pretty simple. Okay, there is my tuna salad. I forgot to mention I also add a dollop of mayonnaise and mustard. Shh, don't tell anybody. Mayonnaise is a no-no, but I love it. So, there I am again, scary. Okay, so I think I'm done meal prepping for the day. I already cut up some strawberries and blueberries and separated them out, like portioned them out for each individual like snacks. 
So I've got strawberries, blueberries, I've got my tuna to go on some lettuce wraps with some pico. Then I've got my turkey bacon, I've got chicken breast going. I'm trying to think what else. I think that's it. So yeah, that just kind of gives you um, an idea of some basic things you can fix and have ready to go. Oh, also I'm going to do some horrible, hard boiled eggs, but I'm going to let the husband do that because as embarrassing as it is, I suck at those. Like, I don't know what it is. I can't do it. Like, I just, I can't. I don't get it. So, I think that's it, guys. And I think that might be it for the day. I think I'm going to go watch Orange is the New Black because the new seats. Oreo! Stop. I think I'm going to go watch Orange is the New Black because the new season just released um, and just relaxed for the rest of the day. Uh, if I can think of anything else, I'll be back. If not, hope you enjoy this vlog, guys. Bye!